Welcome. Pack opening. Dominaria United. New Phyrexia. Sleeper agent. A Johnny. Let's begin. Box. Nothing in it. Just some of the key players, nothing. And this swashbuckling uh, Tony the Tiger, interesting. I honestly wish someone would tell me what they plan us to do with this cardboard crap. I mean, they could give us like a player's guide or something. Herd Migration. Domain. Create three beast tokens for each basic land. That's a, that's incredible. And my, one of the cards I'm looking for is Shieldred, who got filled up with old Phyrexian flesh and now is a centipede woman. I don't know the full story aside from... Karn is incapacitated. Jaya might be dead. Shieldred's now a centipede. And Najani's a sleeper agent, because apparently Elspeth doesn't have enough to worry about. I gotta say, I do like the stained glass look. Ooh. Ooh, a is it card? You may cast sorcery spell. That is very useful. Ooh. Wait a minute. I think I've seen this in the Ven in the Venza versus Koth deck. Unwinding Clock. That's an incredible card. Basic Swamp. Angel with a green kicker ability. Ooh, a Liliana. Each player discards a card, target player sacrifices, separate all permanents into two piles. Not bad, not bad at all. Second pack. Got Liliana. <clears throat> now hopefully I can get the other Black Beauty. That sounded weird, but you all know who I'm talking about. Because if there's one thing that they're doing right, it's making the Phyrexian Praetors very splashable.
Ooh. Ivy Gleeful Spell Thief. I guess. A single creature, you may copy it, and that copy targets Ivy. So, like, if they cast something positive, the positive affects Ivy instead. Or, I copy it, then it affects Ivy. I think last I checked, Shouldra was the, rare, was the most sought after card because it's so expensive. Salvage Man Worker. Basically a Murr. A lot of tree folk and elemental types. So I learned that core cards, their indication is that they're available on any plane. That just means, like, on Innistrad, there's, like, giant dinosaurs roaming around somewhere. And that's just hilarious. Or, like, those legendary creature dragons. Like, the tricolored ones from uh, either 2019 or 2020 core. Ooh. This one's a red kicker. A lot of legendary creatures. Chaotic transformation. Ooh, this one's an old card. Oh, old and from an old set. Oh, I got an autographed card. I don't know who you are, S. Finnegan, but thank you. Ugh. Wait, how much? Oh, it's a 5-5. Five, five. Something tells me that, uh, what's his name? Uh, shoot, what was his name? Yogmoth. Yogmoth is going to come back in some way. this do? Another turn phases in and out. Can't phase in as long as you control this. Destroy all creatures. Each creature destroyed this way creates... Aha! So we got Lily. So far, so good. Also, hit up No Land Beyond on Facebook and their store in Baltimore. They do uh, drafts every month. There's two foil cards. Uh, another uh, Elfheim Worm. Has all the active, active abilities. That's good. Oh, Defiler of Dreams. One more pack. Ugh. Let's 
Lilies. Not bad. Not bad at all. Only Mythic was Lily, but that's good. All right. Thank you for tuning in. Oh, that was Dominaria United. And didn't get Shieldred. Bummer. But as you all know, I have her in the new Phyrexia. And as of recently, I have now collected all five Praetors in multiple versions of the set. I got Urabrask in a new Capenna from a packet yesterday. And this turquoise die counter. It's all right. So we got Lily. Because of course, thank you all for watching. Tune in next time for whatever set comes out next. Bye-bye.